22 handguns for defense. Real quick rundown, basic concepts for you guys. Semi-autos, I don't actually trust as much as anything else, okay? Uh, there's issues there. You cannot reliably ignite 22 long rifle ammunition at a failure rate that is acceptable for defense out of any 22 long rifle semi-auto gun in existence. That means rifle, that means pistol. You can do that in revolvers. There's a lot more energy and a lot more oomph and a lot more surface area uh, being struck on every casing with the massive pressure and wide surface area of the hammer and firing pin on double action 22 long rifle revolvers than there are on any of the semi-autos. They are reliable. Actually, this gun is the most reliable gun I've ever owned. This gun has a lower failure rate than any gun that I've ever owned. So it's reliable enough if you are running double action revolvers. 22 stopping power. Guys, I don't really care about expansion. I don't really care about projectile expansion. I care about punching holes in blood carrying organs and massive arterial tissue. I care about being able to punch holes through central nervous tissue. All you need to do that is more than 12 inches of penetration. FBI has uh, done exhaustive testing. If you can achieve 12 inches of penetration in gel, then generally you can put a bullet inside of those vitals at any angle that you would encounter on the street. So we want more than 12 inches. If we want to, if we want penetration that performs with the best ammo that we have out there, 124 grain plus P plus federal HST or gold dot. What are those getting? What are the best nine millimeter projectiles getting uh, out of a duty gun? You're getting roughly 14 to 17 inches of penetration. Okay, so what does a CCI velocitor out of a gun this size get in gel? Lucky Gunner, Lucky Gunner data suggests uh, that it is about 13 inches of penetration. They are pushing that projectile at 888 feet per second to get that result. This gun chronographed today with this ammo is getting much more velocity than that. We're getting 995 feet per second. So 100 feet per second more means that we should be seeing significantly deeper penetration in tissue with that. Okay, so uh, we, are, we are in the realm of that FBI standard. We have met that, that bottom threshold. We're greater than 12 inches with this gun and this ammo. What are we getting out of this gun with just a little more barrel length? three inches, uh, so we're getting 1,048 feet per second on a 10 shot average taken today with this ammo. Lucky Gunner data for their longer barrel, their four inch barrel, uh, got 1,050 FPS on their five shot average. And with those five shots in gel, this projectile moving at 1,050 FPS produced 15.6 inches of penetration in gel. There's no reason why this wouldn't do exactly the same because the projectiles are going the same speed. So with this gun right here, we are getting penetration in the realm of a duty length gun shooting nine millimeter, 124 plus P plus hollow point. There's no expansion there, no. So I need to make sure that the center of my round is piercing those blood carrying organs, massive arterial or central nervous tissue. But I feel pretty confident in doing so with this gun. There's no recoil. There's no way that I can screw it up by limp wristing it. I can't induce a malfunction on this. It either works or it doesn't. Also, the difference between that and that in hitting a massive structure, shoot a B8 and anything that is a perf, don't count it. That's essentially what you're doing by going to 22. If you are loading it correctly in the right gun. Okay. Guys, thanks for watching. 
I know you guys will have questions on this. I know you guys will have comments. I want to hear them all. Go down to the comments. Light me up if you think this is the dumbest thing ever. Uh, if you like this and uh, you may be leaning towards this, also leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Thank you for watching. Please do all of the things with the like and the bell and all of that. And as always, keep training. Stay safe. Thank you.